new AOC movie bombs at box office, brings in only $81 per theater to finish in 33rd place. I don't know why <laughs> they even put together this documentary. Why would anyone care about AOC? She just have a few Twitter followers, you know, uh, not that very, not very intelligent person, a uh, socialist. I, I, I don't get it, but um, <laughs> it's pretty funny that it bombed at the box office. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. And there's also a link to my Instagram and my uh, my merch store where I got uh, I Will Not Comply t-shirts. So check that out as well. All right, let's talk about this news. A new documentary about radical Democrat rep Alexandria, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has bombed at the box office and is a certifiable flop. Uh, director Rachel Lears made a 2019 documentary, Knock Down the House, about AOC and other young lawmakers. Her follow-up project, To the End, teams up with AOC again, this time to track the New York New Yorker's uh, time in the House. It focuses on AOC trying to pass legislation, especially her manifesto for socialism that's uh, hidden under a thin cloak of woke climate policy called the Green New Deal. And we all know how a, tra a, a, a crap show that that thing was. The, the whole Green New Deal where they want to uh, regulate cow farts and ban people from flying on airplanes and all types of crazy stuff in that, in that, in that uh, bill that, thank goodness, uh, didn't come to fruition. Uh, critics gush that the movie will, quote, ignite more Americans to take action. But... Not if no one sees it. According to Exhibitor Relations, the movie is a dud. Quote, uh, Roadside Attractions documentary on climate change, The End, starring AOC, was voted out the box office just $9,667 in 120 theaters. That's $81 per. <laughs> yes, $81. The movie came in 33rd place over the weekend at the box office. Just crazy. Uh, again, <laughs> why would anyone want to make a documentary about her uh, uh, galloping around the, the uh, Congress uh, doing nothing, really? Uh, director Rachel Lears last went to Sundance with Knock Down the House about four candidates who ran historic elections, including uh, that of Rep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Quote, her latest film to the end is like a sequel, giving us some insight into the new representative's time in office. The video calls that she rolls her eyes at the realization she's had about Washington, D.C. and more. Quote, but the focus here is more about the Green New Deal, a vital change in uh, infrastructure in America that could help fight against global warming and save American economy as a. Uh, uh, the clock ticks and we all know again it was just a socialist thing the green new deal is about control nothing about climate is about telling you what you can and you can't do and, and that's all it wasn't really about the climate and again we all know the climate climate change thing is a hoax we all know that's about about control but quote the end uh shows the uh, momentum of ocasio cortez youthful spirit this time spread out in groups that are creating awareness, marching across the country, and not uh, usually given the amount of on-camera love that Lears provides here, he said. Just, uh, <laughs> it's, just it's just crazy. But uh, I'm glad this thing bombed to show that people are no longer interested in, in AOC and her antics and her Green New Deal, which, again, never came to fruition, thank goodness, because um, it's been, they looked at the Green New Deal and showed that it was going to cost trillions of dollars, cost people jobs, and all that other stuff, but they don't care. Again, it's about them controlling you, telling you what you can do, you know, how, what, get rid of, they wanted to get rid of the gas cars and all this other idiocracy stuff that they've been, that the left been pushing. But um, let me know what you think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in the news. Until next time, peace.